Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Last time we left off, we decided to go and try and help those captives that were captured by the Legion, or at least have a quick scout out and see where the hell they are. And then on the way here we found this area, wolf something or other, uh, almost contemplated using it as a base of operations. It's far much more a peaceful place than an abandoned shack, you know, much more upmarket, so to speak. It's not exactly the Ritz, but it's better. But then decided against it, because I would have to slap everything over. It would take probably three trips. Plus, I'm not near a doctor. Unless this settlement down here is a friendly one, and has a resident doctor, then I will definitely move in. So let's go find out! And before... It's not going to take me long to get down there, but hey, I want some music. This is Radio New Vegas, and I'm your host, Mr. New Vegas. Mr. New and in Vegas. case you're wondering if you've come to the right place, you have more news for you. Traders from California are being turned away from Mojave Outpost where the NCR is concerned about dangers along Nipton Highway and I-15. Also in the headlines, the death toll continues to climb around Camp Forlorn Hope, where Legion raiding parties are still chipping away at the NCR's hold south of the dam. Oh Those are our stories for this hour. This is Mr. New Vegas signing off. Ready to I'm just kidding. I'm not going anywhere. My love for you is too strong. Aww. Ladies and gentlemen, this next song goes out from me to you. To you. It's Free Dog's long lost second cousin. Twice removed. Country version. Mr. New Vegas. With a croaky ass voice. Doesn't have a face for radio, or a voice for it by the sounds of it. Oh, sis, I've never heard this on before. Ooh, healing powder. It's absolutely useless. I made some myself, and it's crap. Oh, two bottle. Oh, normal bottle caps. Oh, no, nope. what is a sunset Ah, What is what? Hey, hey, another sunset sarsaparilla bottle cap. Blue star. Oh, bag full of goodies. I'm running short on 556 ammo, actually. Meeting people. Yes, I need one of them. It's all turning good. I never heard this one before. This is new to me. It's getting dark soon. Is there a, like a roll in here? I can just curl up and sleep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stupid! It's a trap! Oh, I'm gonna die! This is a horrendously well constructed trap! I'm not gonna go down without a fight though, I tell you that much, you damn raiders! Oh my god, I can't believe this! Come on, just keep firing! He's running off in fear. Oh! <sighs> you little bastards! Come on, who's next? Come on! Oh, Jesus. This gun. I love this gun. I can only say that. I can't say it enough. I love this bloody gun! Doctor's bag, bobby pins, pickly prayer fruits, anti-venoms. <sighs> you damn raiders! Thought you had an easy pickings, didn't you? Thought Mr. Morgan would be easy pickings. Well, look at me. Do I look like easy pickings to you? Just because I got glasses doesn't mean I'm a geek. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. I think the adrenaline coursing through my body is making me insane.
Why searching both these guys at the same time? Come on, they can't both carry the same thing. There you go. He's on again! He's on again! Woo! 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 one of them, thank you very much. Now, if this song was playing Martin Riddles came, it would have been so fitting. Because that would be that ranger that shouldn't have been messed with. It was early in the morning when he rode into the town. <sighs> Bloody hell, man. That was intense. That was great. I actually felt so excited. I actually felt alive. For the first time in such a long time, I felt alive. I felt powerful. Look at them, just lined, lined up like Skittles. Okay, let's head into town and see if it's uh, friendly. Can we stay there for the night? I don't like traveling during the dark. Was in Arizona Ranger wouldn't be too long in town. Actually, there's another building over there. <laughs> Let's just see if it's anything that I should be aware of. Ooh. But the outlaw didn't worry men to try it before we're day. Twenty men had tried to take him, twenty men had made a slip. Twenty-one would be the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. What is this? The morning passed so quickly it was time for them to meet. Oh, is that it a grave as well? Past eleven when they walked out in the street. Folks were watching from oh. windows, everybody held a Whoa! Matthew's animal husbandry farm. Well, I don't see any people around here, so the Matthews are probably dead as well. Malnourished big harness. They're struggling to eat. Brahmin. Excuse me, Mr. Big Horner. I have to get up them steps. And if you don't move, I'll just put a bullet in your brain and then I'll get up some other way. It was over in a moment and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have gone on living, but he made one fatal slip. When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip. Forceps. I'll take any sort of medical supplies because they will come in handy for making dim packs or doctor's bags <coughs> in the future. Thank you, big eye on his hip. Is it big iron? I think it is. I think so. Is that another stock up? The Mr. New Yay! My opinion, which I respect, the best looking audience around. What's Somebody this? Somebody prove me wrong. We've got some Ooh. news for you coming right up. Good Springs has fended off a mob of escaped convicts Ooh. after organizing an impromptu militia. Oh yeah, that's me. According to an old man armed to the teeth with dynamite. Move it on. Merchants are saying that there's been little contact between. Do you see that? What an asshole. Uh, that's quite... Oh, what's this? I've never seen this book before. Wasteland Survival Guide! What the hell's that? Oh, that'll be... A, I know what that'll be. That'll be uh, four points into survival, probably. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Who's the author? Moira Brown, perhaps? Yeah, that stupid crony on the radio, that was 
pretty good news, that, the way I organized the militia so quickly and impromptu and fended off those powder gangers, and, and then he just, like, two sentences and then moving on. Not moving on. What about naming the person that's responsible or something? Come on, give me credit. Oh, God, anyway. Let's read this diary page before I burst a blood vessel. Dear diary, I hate being all alone. I want my mum and dad back, but I can't have them back because I killed them. What? Have killed them? I had to kill them, otherwise they would have eaten me. I hope the animals don't eat me. Can animals become ghouls? I think. What's what's this? Challenges? Oh, there we go. A fistful of hollers. Kill enemies using unarmed weapons. Kill mutated animals. Kill mutated insects. Almost done that one. Kill enemies with one-handed guns. Kill enemies with explosives. Kill enemies with guns. Almost up to 75. Kill enemies with rifle grip guns. Oh, oh, they're all kill enemies with this, kill enemies with that, kill enemies with the other. Oh well. Not very exciting. Are these mutated animals? No, just be malnourished. They're gonna die soon of starvation. Should put them out of misery. Since I claim to be a humane person. Okay, let's, let's carry on heading towards the town. I keep getting sidetracked. I have to say, it doesn't look bristling with life. But it is night time. Everybody could be sound asleep in bed byes while a stranger walks into town. Could be the best day of their life having me walk up in here. And it could be the worst. Okay. For a start, the church looks like it's had half its wall blown off. It's not a good start. If a oh, it's a, it looks like it's a cab searchlight. It looks exactly like an NCR outpost. Well. I just stumbled upon. How oh, rather fortunate. Do you have beds here? I'm in need of rest. I'm in ultra. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's class to stealing now. We have Legion dogs! First, Sergeant Astor's log. Quick read of that. What am I reading? First Sergeant Astor's log. Everything is upside down now. All of my superiors are gone and there's no one left myself and a handful of soldiers. I've been following a strict patrol schedule since the incident, making sure to cover the roads leading into Camp Searchlight. I like to keep myself moving in order to catch any wayward travellers who may not know the dangers that now lurk within the town. I don't think I can forgive myself if someone got past me and went into that hellhole of a place. So far I've been able to maintain enough energy that I'm never away from any point on my patrol for long. I wonder how long before I get, can't keep going anymore. So this town, just just mere a stone's throw away from this camp, is apparently a danger. Oh my god! Okay, it looks like a danger. They're shooting at something. Oh, what are they shooting at? What the hell's going on, people? What, what are you shooting at? It looks like raiders! And it looks very green! Is this safe? Oh, whoa, whoa! Just chill out, people! Come on, seriously! <gasps> Legionary! Oh, I'll take the one. Bloody hell, is this Legionary territory? Are we near the borders? Okay, I'm hoping there's some sort of leadership in this tent. I need, to, I need some answers. Hey. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Hang on there, Shroud. Oh, oh. want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's radiated to high hell. Ah, I thought so. It looks a bit green. Alright, this conversation shall continue on the next part, so join me then.